Hydrothermal vents are essentially hot springs under the ocean. The main place that we find these high temperature hydrothermal vents is along the mid-ocean ridge system, which is in fact the longest chain of volcanoes we have on our planet. The water is sufficiently hot that uh, it could probably melt many metals. And so this is water that is able to be superheated because of the overlying pressure of the ocean water above, because you have to remember that the ocean, particularly in these places where there are volcanoes along the mid-ocean ridge, are perhaps 2,000 to 4,000 meters deep. So the way hydrothermal vents work is that cold seawater percolates down into the lava along a mid-ocean ridge. And as it does so, it gets heated up because of the volcanic heat from below, and it rises back to the surface and forms this um, black smoker chimney with this very hot fluid, black fluid coming out the top. And these chimney structures form uh, a deposit that's made of copper, iron, and zinc sulfides. So this is a hydrothermal vent uh, that you can see the black smoke, or rather fluid, that comes out of these vents. Uh, it's black because the color is due to minerals of copper and iron and zinc sulfides precipitating out of that hot fluid. And those minerals form these large chimney structures made of sulfide minerals that would ultimately form a mineral deposit on the seafloor. Vents are important for several different reasons. We mine large ore deposits on land for copper and iron and other elements. It turns out that many of those deposits that we mine actually formed on the ocean floor. And the reason we know this is because even though they're now on land, they're in pieces of crust that we can identify as ocean crust. Those deposits are all very old. Now that we have seen hydrothermal vents, we can actually look at how those mineral deposits form, and that might help us look for new deposits in the future. The other two reasons are related to biology. Um, the first one is the wide range of exotic and previously unknown creatures that have been found around these vents that range from largish organisms like tube worms and clams and mussels, all the way down to microorganisms that are members of a group called archaea, which may be some of the more primitive life forms that we have on the planet. So just in terms of new organisms and a biological community we didn't know exists before, they're very important. The um, enzymes from a lot of these microorganisms are actually now finding industrial and commercial uses. And in fact, the enzymes uh, from hydrothermal vent microorganisms were used in uh, the genome sequencing of humans in the Human Genome Project. So there's uh, reasons in terms of their application, but also reasons in terms of us understanding our oceans and understanding the natural resources we have on Earth.